so we all know about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios. But what does this mean for the future of the rest of Disney's Hollywood Studios? Well, we'll discuss it all up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack, this is DS My Newscast, I'd just like to say very quickly, congratulations to my brother Will, who you all probably know from Universal Newscast, and also my new sister-in-law Felix for getting married yesterday. It was a great honour being your groomsman, master of ceremonies, and yes, sort of, master of the dance floor. <laughs> Those are some pretty uh, weird moves. Anyway, let's get into today's newscast. So there is a topic that has been somewhat overlooked when we've been discussing the massive redevelopment of Disney's Hollywood Studios. As Disney World have clearly earmarked Hollywood Studios and Epcot as top of the list of things they want to revamp before the 50th anniversary in 2021. However, there are massive parts of Disney's Hollywood Studios which we haven't discussed what their future is. So let's start off by discussing the Muppets and Star Wars. As now with the reopening of Grand Avenue and the newly renamed Grand Park, we've heard rumours of new street-level entertainment featuring the Muppets coming to Grand Avenue, with it meant to be themed around the retelling of the stories of Star Wars. But the latest information from inside sources indicates that Muppet Vision 3D is safe for the next two to three years. Whereas the same can't really be said for Star Tours, the adventures continue. As apparently, Disney are potentially looking at repurposing this attraction beginning in 2020, around a year after Galaxy's Edge opens at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And this would actually make a lot of sense for why the current layout around the Tatooine Traders shop has now been fully blocked off by reworking the walkways around the area near Grand Avenue. But it hasn't yet been rumoured what Disney are intending on bringing to the Star Tours attraction to replace it or repurpose it yet. However, taking into account this new information, it now starts to complete the picture for why Disney decided to leave Muppets Courtyard as a buffer between Star Tours and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, instead of using Star Tours as an attraction at the entrance into the brand new Galaxy's Edge. So now let's move on to Echo Lake and the surrounding areas. And as of right now, the Indiana Jones stunt show spectacular is completely safe. But it does seem that Disney are reserving this entire area of the park for a potential new land eventually, as it really doesn't have much to offer in the way of guest interest and is relatively an underutilised part of the park. And now onto the slightly bigger news, and that is that it has been rumoured multiple times by numerous insiders that the Voyage of the Little Mermaid stage show right next to Walt Disney Presents has a very strong likelihood of closing sometime in 2018. Although we don't know exactly what will replace this attraction, but it's more than likely going to be another show of some sort. And you see, that's not the only live entertainment which is going to be looking to end its run at Disney's Hollywood Studios as it looks like the long-running Beauty and the Beast live on stage will finally be replaced within the next two years. As according to insiders, Disney has two new shows planned for Disney's Hollywood Studios and one completely new show in a new space altogether, which I personally think might be the previously rumoured Muppet Streetmosphere show on Grand Avenue. And in terms of Rock and Roller Coast and Tower of Terror, don't worry, they're going to be safe in the future. As the previously rumoured third stage of development for Disney's Hollywood Studios, which was the potential Monsters, Inc. section of the park, seems to be once again off the table at Walt Disney Imagineering, with Disney instead being happy to have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and other enhancements to the park being the new third stage of development. Now we've discussed a little bit of Walt Disney World, but now let's move on over to Disneyland. And more specifically, the new holiday overlays that have now been announced for Cars Land at Disney California Adventure. And once again, Disney are at it with their fantastic titles as Luigi's Rollicking Roadsters will transform into Luigi's Joy to the World and Mater's Junkyard Jamboree will become Mater's Jingle Jamboree with each attraction also receiving its own new holiday soundtrack to be sung by either Mater or Luigi. And also, whilst we're talking about Christmas at the Disney parks, we've now got our first sneak peek footage at the Sunset Season Greetings projection show, which will debut on Thursday, but a special media preview will take place tonight. As we can see here that this is the same Toy Story scene that we saw represented in the concept art from last week. But now, it's over to you, Walton. I would like to hear your suggestions 
Productions for if Disney decide to move forward with their plans to repurpose or replace Star Tours within Disney's Hollywood Studios, which movie franchise do you think would best fit that attraction either repurposed or completely replaced? And of course, don't forget as always to leave the timestamp of where the hidden Mickey appears somewhere within this video to be in with a chance to win a DSMY newscast pin. And congratulations to Infinity Plex for winning with this suggestion here from a previous video talking all about the new Pixar Pier and Incredi Coaster that's going to be coming to Disney California Adventure. Go ahead and subscribe down below, hit that notification icon, and yes, my voice is a little bit hoarse after the wedding yesterday. And uh, also give this video a massive thumbs up. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon. Thank <laughs> you.